Hi CMHers, here we are once again on our beautiful campus. Today is gorgeous, the sun is shining, there's a few clouds, we got some good rain last night, the grass is green, I hear birds. It's also the Friday of Earth Week, so I thought it was only fitting that we visit our compost pile. Um, at the beginning of the year we all came to the compost pile, we talked about um, composting and how we can all compost in our classroom and you probably remember at lunchtime having a compost bucket where you would put in your food scraps maybe your apple cores banana peels maybe some celery that you didn't finish or if there was a bouquet of flowers in the classroom that was past its prime you put that in the compost bin as well um, but I want to visit the compost and just kind of talk about it. So come over here to the compost that you guys all remember, where we empty the compost bins from our classrooms. We've emptied them on this side. Now I've got my shovel. You notice I got my mud boots. And I've been turning the compost. And I'm going to explain that in a little bit. But I have my big shovel, and I've been digging deep and turning it over. And you can see some of the things in here. So if we look close, I see part of a bouquet. I see, it looks like maybe an old pumpkin. I see some plants. This looks like an orange peel. Oh, here, look at this. A corn cob. Um, but also, if you look closely, if we dig deep, look what you find. Dig and deep, we can find some beautiful, beautiful rich dark soil so this is what we have been using every day since the school year started now obviously no one has added anything to this compost in over six weeks but still it's happening here and i want to talk to you all about it now here's the dirt from last year let me show you that these are your banana peels and orange peels apple cores from last year look at that rich crumbly soil and then over here is from the year before that. So if we were going to do any gardening, this would be a great place to borrow soil or even add to our garden beds tremendous soil. There's something here that I've been working on with the Senior Outdoor Club. Maybe you've seen these. These are our micro composters. They layered a bunch of organic material. They're filled with water, but that water is actually very valuable too. I invite any of my senior outdoor clubbers, if you want to come by CMH and come and pick up your, mic or your micro composter, the lids are right here. You can just put the lid on, put it in your car, take it home, put it in your backyard and keep it going. So pretty exciting stuff here. Come over to my blanket. I got a bunch of stuff to show you. So we talked at the beginning of the year, why should we compost? Well, one of the big reasons, I think, is to keep things out of the landfill, right? We want to reduce our waste as much as possible. So we'll let all the other trash go into the landfill and fill up the landfill, but there is no reason to put a banana peel or an orange peel in the landfill. It'll just fill it up and it'll never decompose in a landfill. But we put it in a compost pile, it will decompose. So we're keeping things out of the landfill we're also returning valuable nutrients that all those organic things, the banana peels, the apple peels, orange peels, all those things work really hard to build their little bodies. And when we're done with them, if we compost them, then all those incredible nutrients can return to the soil and help other plants grow. Um, if you put compost like this on your gardens, your gardens are gonna grow better. You'll have less weeds and everything's going to just grow bigger and stronger and if you're growing a vegetable garden or have roses or anything it's going to have better flowers and bigger fruit so it really really helps the soil plus i think it's really fun because lots of critters live in there too we're going to talk about some critters in just a minute so here is my soil probe before i turned the compost a few minutes ago i pushed the soil probe down into the soil so I could look at the different layers. This is only a couple inches underneath our compost. This is our compost from this school year. What do you see here? Do you see eggshells? I see, I don't know, this looks like maybe part of a 
plant that might have been in a bouquet that is starting to break down, starting to rot, starting to decompose. I see some orange or pumpkin in here, and then but down here is that beautiful, rich, dark soil that I'm talking about. This is what's so good for gardens. So just a few inches down and look what we find. So a soil probe is really nice to have when you're studying the layers of the soil and talking about decomposition. But um, I also have a hand lens, which is always handy whenever you're studying anything outdoors. Um, I have a few little things that I found just a few minutes ago when I was digging. Let me see, I'm gonna put on my glasses. Let's see, if they're still in there, I hope they didn't escape. So, oh, here he is, maybe you can see him right in there. It looks like a grub. Now, grubs will help create little tunnels in the soil, and that allows water and oxygen to get down into the compost, which helps things decompose quicker. And in here, hmm, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Did he escape? I had a wonderful centipede in here. He might have climbed out. I guess I could have put the lid on, but there was also a little isopod, a little, some people call them pill bugs or roly polies. Those are very helpful things that you can find in your compost. They're all going to help that decomposition move quicker. So with this email, it's going to be a document. It's called the scene heroes because there are so many when you're digging in the dirt, you can find so many animals. You can find ants, fruit flies, wood lice, slugs, and snails. Maybe you can find worms, springtails, millipedes, centipedes, mites. This will be attached to the email so you can read about what these things like to eat and why they are beneficial to have in your compost. Now, let's go back to this soil that we got out of our compost. It's like chocolate cake crumbs, and that's what we're going after. Now, some people think that composting is a lot of work. It's actually not. There is no way, oh, here's a piece of trash. This isn't going to decompose. I'll put that in the trash. That's plastic. That's not going to turn to dirt very easily. That might take thousands and thousands of years. But this is what we're after. This is what I could just pour right on the plants to help them grow. And like I said, it looks like crumbly chocolate cake. Um, in here are the things we can see, the seen heroes, but there are many, many unseen creatures living in here, little microorganisms that you would have to have a microscope to see. And they are really doing the bulk of the work. They are digesting all that organic material. They're digesting the banana peels and the apple cores, and they're turning it into dirt. So they're in there, and that's what makes the soil so healthy. Um, some people like to use a soil thermometer. We could put that right in the middle of our compost. I'll show you. You don't have to use it, but Scientists know that the, the, the biggest way to um, make composting go faster is to follow the temperature. And it will work best when it's about 120 or 130 degrees in your compost. When it's heated up like that, that means those microorganisms and all the seen and the unseen heroes are working really hard to digest, to eat and digest and turn into dirt our organic matter to keep out of the landfill. There's one more thing I want to show you. Compost tea. Look at that. So I poured off from the micro composters that the Senior Outdoor Club made. I just poured off some of the water on top and I can use this to water my plants and it's filled with all those nutrients. It's amazing. This is just like miracle grow for your plants that you could buy. And it's not made out of chemicals. It's made out of compost. Now, one more thing I want to talk about, how easy it is to compost. You don't have to do any of this. You don't have to turn your compost. You don't have to check the temperature. You can just designate an area in your backyard where you're going to throw all your scraps, where you'll throw your leaves, or the sticks, or your banana peels, 
you never have to turn it. Just go back one day and you'll see that it is turned to soil. But if you make sure a compost is turned at least once a year, if you check the temperature and add leaves if it's too cold, if you make sure it has all these little seen and unseen heroes, then you can actually turn that banana peel into dirt in four weeks if everything is working properly. But you don't have to do any of that. You can just let it go and it will decompose. Know that there's two kinds of decomposition. There's aerobic, which means the work is done by organisms that need oxygen. They need air. That's what's happening here. Or anaerobic, which is done by organisms that don't need oxygen. And that's going to happen deep underneath the ground or things that are packed up tightly. It's going to take a lot longer. The oxygen makes it go quicker. So, wow, I've covered a lot of material, but I wanted to share what's going on here in our compost because I don't think any of you have visited in quite a while. Lots of cool things. You guys have a great day. If anyone has questions about composting, feel free to email me. Have a great day. We'll see you guys. Bye.